what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel so today we are keeping the intro very very short i'm trying to get better about talking here i am rambling already you guys saw the title of today's video we are doing a very very long lasting sweat proof heat proof whatever it may be waterproof makeup tutorial listen i've had so much practice i live in north carolina where it is currently still 90 degrees and like 100 percent humidity so i feel like i've kind of nailed the techniques of making my face last hours and through substantial heat waves so this is going to be perfect for you if you live in a warm climate or if you're just a sweaty broad like me and these are the techniques and products that work best for me so if you're interested in seeing how i got this it's a pretty easy makeup look but very very long wearing then let's get into it all right, so I'm actually going to be starting with my base today just because I feel like this is like the most crucial, crucial step in your makeup application and making it last a really, really long time. So I'm gonna start with one of my absolute, absolute favorite primers. This is like my go-to if I know I'm gonna be sweaty or outside for a long time or I need my makeup to last for a really long time. So this is the Makeup Forever Step 1. This is the mattifying primer. I'm obsessed with this. If you need a good mattifying primer, this is well worth the spend. I would save your money and purchase one of these. I think they're amazing. Makeup Forever has a ton of different options in their line and this one is my favorite for longevity. So I'm just gonna take like a pea size amount maybe. I don't know, like that much. I tend to go a little bit overboard in primer but this one you really only need to focus primarily like in your T-zone or where you get really oily. Be careful with this one though. I must say if you use too much it will kind of ball up on you. So another product that I would recommend you don't need. It's not like a requirement but I really enjoy these Cover FX mattifying drops. I'm just going to mix a few of these into my foundation and the foundation I'm going to be using today is my favorite foundation in the history of foundations. I have not been able to find one that like really tops this. I have other ones that like are close loves, but this is my tried and true. This is probably the foundation I'm gonna wear on my wedding day, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so this is the YSL All Hours Foundation and this just lasts so long. I would say it's kind of like a matte to satin natural finish. Um, it's not drying matte like the Fenty Beauty or some of those ones. Um, but it is really, really long wearing and it's so full coverage. It's so beautiful. Again, super worth the splurge. So I'm just going to take, these look disgusting by the way. Um, I'm just going to drop like two. It kind of just depends how oily you are, how many you want to use. Um, but two usually do the trick for me. And then I'm just going to kind of like basically like paint this on my face. So for an added bonus of longevity, I look ridiculous. I just looked in my viewfinder. Wow. Okay. Um, so what I also like to do, I did already dampen this sponge, but a little trick I like to use is I will take my Urban Decay All Nighter and basically I will just spritz it. And this to me, I don't know if it's like mental or if that actually works, but when I'm pouncing this in my skin, I feel like it just it makes the product last longer. I don't know. Like I said, it might just be in my imagination, but these are the steps I take to get my products to last like hours and hours. So I'm actually going to be mixing two concealers today because for some reason I just can't figure out a concealer color that actually works for me. Um, so I'm going to mix in the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and then a little bit of this Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Vanilla. I think these concealers are absolutely amazing do all of the usual with that. I think this concealer lasts a really, really long time. It doesn't break up on me. I've never had issues with it. I know it's not necessarily marketed as like a super long wearing product. And then I am actually gonna go in with a traditional powder bronzer, but before I do that, I really like to cream contour um, just because I think it lays down a really, really nice base and it gives something the powder to kind of adhere to. And then you kind of have like two layers on, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm gonna take, again, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and this is in the shade Toffee. And I actually like a concealer better for cream contouring because I think it lasts a little longer because it actually like 
dries down, if that makes sense. I find that some cream contour products will not dry all the way or they're a little bit like slipperier. Um, and I just like how matte concealers dry down to be. And I've learned with making your makeup last, although we are layering like a ton of products on, you go in with really thin layers, that way you don't get like cake face or anything crazy like that. Alrighty, before I go in with any other powder products on top of this, I want to set my face and I know I look a little bit crazy and a little bit muddy, but I promise it's all gonna come together. So my tried and true powder, I always keep going back to it. It's my favorite. It's matte as heck. It's so long lasting. It just keeps everything in place perfectly and it doesn't give you cake face. This is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. It's a fan favorite for a reason. It's just such a great powder. So what I actually like to do on the side that I did not blend out my contour with, um, a clean side, I like to just dip in here with my sponge and not bake, but I will just tap that powder under my eyes. And make sure you really get your eyelid too because this is going to prime everything for our shadow and make everything last a really long time. I just find that this technique using a wet sponge, even with powder, it just really melts all the products together and it just, it just lasts so much longer. I haven't baked in a really long time just because I find it's a little bit too drying for me because I am using so many mattifying products. But if you have super, super oily skin, that's something that I would definitely recommend. I'm kind of more normal to combo, I would say. I'm not as oily as I used to be. And then for the rest of my face, what I'm going to do is actually take this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. And I'm just gonna take a really fluffy brush. And this is perfect for adding a little bit more coverage if you need it but I'm just going to tap this around the perimeters of my face pretty much just to kind of set everything down. I don't love this powder on its own. I actually did a review of it on my channel already. If you wanna see, I did like a wear test and all that stuff, um, but I do kind of like it to set my face. Um, I think it's actually really, really nice and it gives a really pretty finish. I just don't like it on its own. It's not long lasting to me, but on top of the foundation, it is. So what I like to do now, since we have kind of our first layer of powders on, I will take my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, and I love this product because the whole thing is you can use it throughout your makeup process. It's the Continuous Setting Mist. It's meant to be used more than once, so it's not gonna like gunk up your face or cause your products to skip or anything crazy like that. So I'm just gonna do a really, really light layer just to set everything. That's literally all you need, just a quick little layer. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer in the shade Island Ting. Um, and I'm just going to take a kind of fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M530, um, but anything you have will do. Doesn't need to be that specifically. And I'm just going to kind of bronze up the face and literally just place this wherever you put your original cream bronzer. And you don't need much since we're already pretty, <laughs> pretty bronzy. But I just like to add a little bit on top just to make sure it's really set. So for some reason, blush never wants to last very long on me. It just, just fades away so quickly on me. That's why you guys always see me applying so much of it. But one of my favorites that I find lasts the longest on me is this Flower Beauty Flower Pots Powder Blush. And I have mine in the shade Peach Primrose. I have a few of these. This is my favorite shade though. And honestly, any blush you have will do. I just like this one because it lasts the longest on me. Like I said, for some reason, blush just doesn't wanna hang around too long on my cheeks. Um, but if you don't have that issue, whatever you have works. And like I said, I always apply a little bit more because it does fade so quickly on me. So it's gonna look a little crazy right now, but it'll go down and it'll all kind of like blend together. So for highlight today, I'm actually gonna be using a eye product. Um, I find that because eyeshadows are made for your eyes, they're just a little bit more long wearing than like your traditional highlighter. And especially like loose pigments, I think lasts a little bit longer on the skin. So I'm gonna be taking one of these Makeup Forever Starlet Powders and I don't know what shade this is, 13 I think, I don't know. It's a really pretty like gold shade. And what I like to do is actually spritz 
my highlight brush a little bit because this just like packs such a punch and it gives something for the product to kind of adhere to. Um, and I'm just gonna dip in here. I'm just using my Anastasia highlight brush and we're just gonna place this on the tops of the cheekbones. Like, hello. So I went ahead and did my brows off camera. My favorite, the Anastasia Brow Definer. So easy, so quick, lasts forever. Um, I have mine in the shade Soft Brown. Currently I'm using because my roots are a little bit darker. But her pomades as well last such a long time. They're super, super long wearing. And then, of course, I topped it with the Clear Brow Gel. This is like super glue. If you want your brows to last a really, really long time and stay perfectly in place, I highly, highly recommend this. Another trick that you can use, which is actually what I carry in my kit and use on all my clients, is you can just use a clear hair gel. I know it doesn't sound as professional and it's not as fancy as Anastasia, but it's literally like an eighth of the price. I think it's like $3 for a thing of hair gel and you just run it through with a spoolie and it lasts a really, really long time because that's essentially what this is. So now we are ready to move on to our eyeballs and this is gonna be a really, really quick eye look just because the base is kind of primarily the focus for all like long lasting products, eyeshadows, usually lasts a pretty long time. If you use a good eye base and set it correctly, you shouldn't have any creasing or any fallout or anything crazy like that. Um, so you saw we did set our eyes with concealer and then I did set it with the Laura Mercier powder. Um, some of my favorite eyeshadows actually, I love this palette. This is the Tartlet in Bloom. And I picked this one because it's just such a great neutral palette. It's a great beginner palette. So I picked this because a lot of people have it. It's pretty popular. It's very easy to get your hands on. So I'm just gonna be taking the shade Jet Setter and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of Smarty Pants. And this is just gonna go in our crease. And if you don't have eyeshadow palettes, it's not a big deal. You could literally use a bronzer, like it's the exact same thing. So this is coming off a little bit more cool toned than what I wanted. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Rebel and mix that in there. Just gonna take an angle brush. This is an eyebrow brush, but it's fine, it works. Um, any angle or eyeliner brush, and I'm gonna go into the shade Activist right here, and I'm gonna do kind of like a little wing with this. If you like the look of winged liner but are a little bit intimidated by using a black like gel or liquid liner, this is also a really great technique that you can use. Just a dark eyeshadow and just create a little flick like that just to kind of bring your eye shape up and give you that like cat eye kind of like sultry look. For mascara, a long wearing option would of course be a waterproof mascara, but I despise waterproof mascara more than anything. The only time I would probably wear it is like on my wedding day because I know I'm gonna cry. So unfortunately, I do not have a waterproof mascara to use for you guys, but I know Too Faced, Better Than Sex, there's a waterproof version of it. There's a ton, the Urban Decay Perversion, like they all come in waterproof. I just... I hate them. So if you wanna use a waterproof mascara, now would be the time to. Um, but I'm just gonna go in with the Lancome Monsieur Big. Just go in with your favorite and one you know works. So you can of course leave the look just like this. I think it's really pretty and fresh, but you know me, I have to go in with false lashes. So I'm taking my Unicorn Cosmetics lashes in the shade, ap in the, in the shade in the style Apple Sours. This is what they look like. They're kind of more flared to the outside to kind of complement that cat eye look that we're going for. And of course, don't judge how disgusting this is, but if I'm wearing false lashes, I'm using House of Lashes Adhesive. I know people complain about this because it hangs around for like days after you take your lashes off, but that's why it's so long wearing. Like this is super glue for your eyelashes. I'm obsessed with this. I can't do duo or any of those other lash glues. No ma'am. This is a necessity. I can't live without House of Lashes glue. If you have an alternative that has the staying power of House of Lashes but does not leave gunk in your eyelashes for like the next three weeks, let me know. But until then, this is what I'm using. If you have a hard time getting your lashes to stick or your lash glue is just not doing it for you, I recommend giving this guy a test. 
So something long lasting like a liquid lipstick would obviously be ideal if you're trying to get your makeup to last all day and stay in place. But if you don't have one, do not fret. You don't need to go to the store and buy a $20 liquid lipstick. I will show you a trick that will kind of give you the exact same effects but with what you already have. So for lip liner today, I'm going to be using my NYX lip pencil in the shade Nude Truffle. I'm obsessed with this. Like you're probably gonna hear me talk about this for the next like eight videos that I film. I already used it in one. I'm, I, oh, I can't get enough of it. So I'm just going to line my lips and then kind of fill in the corners, but leave the center blank. And then of course, one of my absolute favorite lipsticks is MAC Honey Love. And this is a matte lipstick, so it does last a little bit longer. So to get your bullet lipstick to last like the longest, what I like to do is take a little bit of that translucent powder and I'll just take kind of a fluffy brush, like a blending brush works perfectly for this. And just take a little bit of that powder, you don't need a lot, and just tap off any excess and just lightly pat that. So now we are super matte and that is not going anywhere. We got a dog, we got a special guest. Oh, dude, you're stepping on my products. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps my channel out. And subscribe if you haven't already. And also don't forget to hit that little bell thing below next to the subscribe button so that way you are notified every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye. You should see the